I was out at the uh, club one night, and uh, this lady, she gave me something. No, not an STD, <laughs> not a drink, not a phone number or anything like that. Uh, you want to see what she gave me? Yeah, sure. I was in the club, Nancy, and she gave this to me. Aww. She gave this to me. <laughs> the love life of a comedian is funny. You know, I started having an imaginary conversation with, I don't know, I didn't give it a name, but I tried to process this, you know. Why would she give me something like this when, you know, come on guys, you know what we think about, right? You know how we're wired. You know, so I'm thinking, you know, and so I started, you know, no, I'm not gay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being gay, I'm just not gay. What? No, I'm not into teddy bear sex either. <laughs> okay, I think you served your purpose tonight. Uh, that's it, thank you. Uh, true story though. Anybody uh, have a funny love life too? I, um, I was interviewed, I have a show, it's called David Little Short Laughs. I interview people downtown, I do street comedy and I ask folks, you got a funny joke or story. Uh, there were two ladies and I asked them, you know, what, uh, what is it that turns you on about guys? You know, what is, what is it? You know, so they mentioned three things. Mm. One of them they said was that, well, you can't live with your mom. That's a turn off. The other thing they said, you got to have a car. And the other thing they said was that you got to be tall. I'm not tall. I don't have a car. But I do have one thing. To Mom, I love you, but next Mother's Day, you're going to have to move out, okay? <laughs> I love you, Mom. But, you know. So, um, anybody like to go clubbing? Nightclubs sometimes? I like to go to clubs. I go to club, but, yeah, woo, yeah. They, they kind of stopped me at the, at, the, at the door, though. They won't let me wear my baseball cap. And I said, what's up with that? I can't wear a baseball cap. I've been told that baseball cap is supposed to be like, they tell me you look like a gang member if you wear a baseball cap. I hate that. I'm like, what? What do you mean gang member? What are you trying to say, you know? You trying to say like the uh, National Baseball Association, uh, American Baseball is uh, like the mafia? Or something? I mean, what's up with that? You know, we got like OGs that are in a, in the Hall of Fame. You know, uh, uh, Joe DiMaggio. You know, bada bing. You know, Babe Ruth. Bada boom. You know, OGs like uh, Jackie Robinson. You know, with their hats, gats, baseball bats. <laughs> Look out! You know, I guess you know. I guess I guess these gang affiliates they go around stadiums all across the nation. And they battle, we battle in stadiums and baseball field. We pay, gang associates. Yes, was, yeah, hey, like uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh Pirates, Arr. <laughs> California Angels. You know, I mean, you know, and the baseball hats. That's how they recruit gang members. Crazy. What if they had, uh, you know, they hustle guys at the door like that? I guess sponsors got to have something to do. What if they hustle women like that? You know, what if they said, you know, no hats, no wigs, no weaves? Got one word for that, hyphy. But you have all kind of women just like, oh. it's, like it's not going to happen, you know? That wouldn't happen. I mean, I, I can imagine a bouncer trying to explain that, you know? Ma'am, I'm sorry. We can't, you see the sign here? No hats, no wigs, no weaves. We saw you here last week. Your hair was this short. Now your hair is all down to your booty. That's against the law of human nature. Well, I'm sorry, man. You gotta go. Get out of here. That would never happen, though. That would never happen. At, at clubs, ladies, you guys have what we want. These most guys, you know, you have what we want. That's why they have a ladies' night, right? You women, you have the power. You got the power. You got the power to put men in an altered state of mind called booty hypnosis. <laughs> oh yeah, it happens, it happens. 
You know, and it's tough because, you know, it's like your, your eyes become a magnet and her booty's steel. You know, and you, just, you don't want to look, but you got to look. You just snap. You know, there she is. You know, and you got to make sure you're not with your wife or your girlfriend because, that, you know, you'll get slapped, you know. But sometimes she's like, man, she's even looking and going, you know, as a woman walks over there, you know. It's like, you know, you got to, guys, you ever like, you know, you got to train her. Train yourself not to turn your head, but your eyeballs move, and you're like, there she goes, you're like, uh, I turned the mask. I'm not in a relationship now, but boy, I used to get eye strain. <laughs> Booty hypnosis. Booty hypnosis happens, I don't know if you ever had it, when you fall in love in the club. Love in the club. Booty hypnosis happens when you fall in love with her in the club. Booty hypnosis happens when... You buy her drinks, anything she wants, as many as she wants. Booty hypnosis. Booty hypnosis happens when you even buy her friends drinks, whatever they want. Booty hypnosis. You're under her spell. Spell of the booty of the beauty of the booty. Although you snap out of it and reality kicks in when she leaves with another guy. Crash. Then it's booty rehab. <laughs> Been there. Not easy. Yeah, you find your wallet's emptied and your heart's broken. We've got the, we got the holidays coming up right now. With the people's, what's America's favorite pastime during the holidays? Barbecues. It's not, it's not, it's not boating. It's bloating. That's what we do as Americans, folks. Come on now. Come on. I do it myself. I do it myself. You know, in fact, um, I, um, I, I, I come to the realization that I got to go on a diet. You know, and it's just not, you know, it's not something I came to the realization really happy about. You know, uh, we just, as a nation, we, uh, we got new definitions now. You know, I see people, anybody do public transportation? I'm on public transportation quite a bit. I see people uh, taking their dogs for a walk on the max. Come on, now they ride a couple of stops and then they get off. Or well, they get off the bus. The definition of riding bikes now, they get on the max. And they ride their bikes a couple of the bike is like cargo. Yeah. And I thought it would get some better laps than this. But, you, know, you just gotta say it a certain way, just you know, have to roll out. But I know one thing, I look weights, you know, just so that I can uh, contain my, uh, my girth here, I, I, um, I have this issue. Rock and roll, you know, it's just not a form of music or style of music. It's like, it's like a way of life for me. Why? Because when I get out the bed, I don't step out, I roll out. You got to be like, one, two, ah! Anybody feel me on that? <laughs> Getting out the car, I don't step out the car when I had a car. I don't step out the car, I roll out the car. <laughs> oh, okay. Out the car now. Same thing, bathtub, everything else. That's just how I roll. Yeah. So I have, um, I have this thing with uh, the, 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 weight, the waistline where uh, my belt loop. When you start realizing you're gaining too much weight and I can't tighten my belt, or I, I, you start doing the math, you know, say, wait, I used to be able to go three, four, you know, five. Now it's just like, one, you know, and it just like stay there. And then one is just like holding, that one is holding real, <laughs> real tight. I can even feel that right now. I'm a type. Anybody ever collect pennies? You do. Anybody ever? Yeah. I used to collect pennies, but you know, due to my weight challenge issues and everything like that, I got to go on a diet. You know, I got to go on a diet. I, I walk around and I see pennies all over the place. And I walk past the pennies. You know why? Because I'm afraid that if I go and I'm like, I can't get up. I'm just stuck there. My gut is like gravitating me to the ground and I can't get up. You know, I think Tiger, what he needs to do, he needs to just revamp his image. He needs to just get a career makeover. 
You know, I think he needs to embrace his bad boy, playboy image. And I got an idea for him. He needs to market a sex enhancement product. A sex enhancement product and call it Tiagra. <laughs> be for men and women. It'll be just in time for the holidays. Now, the way he would market this, the way it would really sell out the roof, you know, you remember back when he was winning? Remember Tiger Woods, when he would win? What, he, what, what, what clip goes to your mind? The tiger gasm, right? Right? You know, when he's winning, you know how that was, the tiger gasm. Tiger Woods has a chance to win it all. He's getting ready to pump now. And he's going to make this shot. Tiger Woods. Tiger, Tiagra. Get it for the holidays. Call it Tiagra. will make you, make you roar and have your partner beg you for more. Tiagra. Thank you for listening.